Today I'd like to talk about the importance of colour temperature on product display and the benefits and effect it can have on displaying products as, as in the best possible manner. Firstly, a bit of an overview of colour temperature. Uh, how is it measured? Colour temperature of white light is measured in kelvins, uh, where one kelvin uh, is equivalent to one Celsius. But the kelvin scale of temperature has a different zero point to the Celsius scale where zero Kelvin is equivalent to minus 273 Celsius. And so on, the two of them track each other in a linear fashion. So in many respects, one Kelvin and one Celsius are the same thing. Typically, white light is in, within a retail display context might go from 2,700 Kelvin through to 6,500 Kelvin, where 2,700 Kelvin can be considered a very warm white light and 6,500 Kelvin is a very cool, bluey white light. So basically, the higher the Kelvins, the cooler the appearance of the white light. The best way to imagine this, because it sometimes really freaks people out that they don't understand that the higher the Kelvins, they think it means it's warmer, but it's actually cooler in appearance. The bit of science behind it is, if you take a piece of tungsten filament and you heat it, or you take a piece of iron in a forge and you heat it up, you get it hot, it goes red hot, it goes yellow hot, it goes white hot. And if you get it really hot, it goes a bluey white hot. So the hotter you get it, the cooler the appearance of the colour is. So it's, it's an easy mistake to make if you don't understand it, but the higher the temperature, the cooler the appearance of it. The lower the temperature, the warmer the light appears. So, so when would you use different colour temperatures? Well, uh, typically warm white light really suits things like bakery goods. So if you've got bread or pastries display, if you use warm white light, the product looks really inviting under it. Um, where if you put it under a cool white light, it can look really, really insipid and, and unappetizing. By the same token, if technical products, tech products, the phones, cameras and such like, if you illuminate those uh, with a very warm white light, it can look Again, unappealing. And the, and the tech products tend to really like to be illuminated under a very clean, cool, cl clinical white light. Certainly no, neutral through to clinical, where the bakery goods might be um, uh, warm through to neutral. So there are different lighting scenarios that really suit different products to make them look the very best. And if you can make the product look the best, it's more likely to sell. It's pretty simple in a retail environment. Uh, it doesn't cost any more to get it right than get it wrong. So you might as well get it right. It's really, really important to get this right at the point of sale. Equally, it's doubly important not to get it wrong. There are further benefits that you can have by introducing high colour rendition lighting to it all. Um, but that's going to come on in a later video um, when I talk about colour rendition and its impact on colours. I hope that was informative, maybe even interesting, and you can find some of our other videos interesting. You know, at Unibox, we're, we're get it, getting lighting right for our clients is kind of a, a religion for us. Uh, we're a bunch of geeks with it, and we welcome the challenge of helping people illuminate the products in the right manner to, del to drive more sales. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to follow us on LinkedIn, Insta, and Facebook, uh, and all the other social media platforms should you wish.